this is today's model. This is a an octagonal box. I misspelled it on the title. And the top has eight sheets and the bottom has eight sheets. So it's the same unit, but at one point in the unit, you're going to change the direction of one fold. So that would create this design on the bottom. And then this is the design on top. So if you have double-sided paper, well, if you have classic, you know, origami paper has color on one side and white on the back, the white will show here, which is kind of fun. Um, I chose, you know, rainbow colors, which is great. But for the class, I'm going to just do the solid because it makes it easier for you guys to see it. And whenever I've taught a modular piece, which is something that requires more than one unit, um, we go, we fold all the units in stages and that way everybody stays on pace and everyone can um, complete it at the end. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get started. So what we want to do is you want to have uh, 16 sheets of paper. Okay, and um, go ahead and if you have them all set, because you can, you know, this here, the design, you know, I used eight different colors, which is cool. Uh, you can use four solid and four pattern and then alternate and then that would give you that effect. So kind of decide what you want to do. Um, just different colors is great. All the same color is great because as you see, you can see the detail on the back side of the paper here. All right. So let me grab my papers. And first step is you want to do two, the two diagonals. And so what you want to do is turn it over to the back side of the paper and you want to fold both diagonals. So we're going to go ahead and fold your triangles. When you fold your, the first folds are always the hardest because you have the most paper. So my trick here is you want to line up the points, hold it in place with one hand, pull straight down the middle, then go from the center on out. That way the paper doesn't shift on you. If you start from one side and go to the other side, the paper tends to shift on you. So you won't get an accurate um, fold. So this is the best way to do, whether it's a diagonal fold or whether you're doing the, um, you know, hex, um, the rectangular fold. So you're gonna unfold, rotate and fold the other diagonal. Hold it in place, pull straight down, work from the center on out. And then go ahead and put that piece aside and then proceed with the rest of your papers. So let's go ahead and, and go to the next step. So the next step is you're going to take your sheet this here, and we are going to fold your two opposite points. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to start from the bottom and you're just going to bring the points to the center. You want to go up to and not over that line. So you want to do the two opposite ones, just like this, any two. Okay, so do that. And I find this one really counts that you try to make it centered to that point, you know, try not to make it try not to miss. That way you're you've got nice, you know, sharp sharp corners on your uh, on your model okay okay so if you have at least eight done in this fashion we're going to go ahead and do the next step So go ahead and take, take your model and we're going to make one fold. If you uh, orient your model like this, 
you've got your line, your fold line going down the center. You want to take the upper right part right here that I'm pointing at, and you're going to bring that to meet this center line. So we're creating a valley fold that starts from the corner and ends up about halfway through. So, but you have to hold this triangle flat because otherwise it can slip and, and kind of go do like this. So you, what you want to do is hold it here at the corner, holding the layers together. And then you're going to bring this edge to this line here and just this one. It, you might find it helpful to hold this corner here down. So if you watch this before you do it, you're going to take this and you're just going to fold it and you want to line it up with the center like that and then go ahead and fold. And just that one flap, just do that one flap. And then we'll go ahead and do the second one at the same time. Now you're going to take this bottom corner here and you're going to fold it up so that this edge meets the angle this that you just created. So it's going to go like, like that. So it looks kind of like an envelope. So again, after you fold this one here, you're going to take this bottom flap. This edge lines up with this here. Using your center fold as a guide to make sure that you're nice and straight. And then go ahead and fold. So it should look like this. So you're folding two flaps in this stage. You're flapping, flapping. You're folding this top over and then this bottom up to meet that like this and give that a good strong crease and go ahead and put that aside and continue. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, and go to the next step. It's okay if you're not done. Um, like I said earlier, if you have at least eight done at this stage, then that's great because I want to be able to show you how to put this thing together, which is fine. And also the variation to make the base. Uh, so now the next step is just actually we're going to do three steps to finish the model. We want to fold it the first step is if you turn turn the model over, do you see this fold here? This fold that, that goes along the bottom, it's, it's uh, parallel with the bottom edge here. So that's what we wanna fold. On this side, it's a mountain fold, but you, what you wanna do is kind of nudge it in place because we're gonna turn it over and fold that crease. Just use that as the guide. So I find it's easy, easier to kind of on this side, just kind of nudge it in place. Then when you turn it over, you know where to fold it. Okay. Okay. So that's one. That's step one. You fold that up. Unfold it. Step two is, do you see this fold that goes along to the point? Take that and fold that. Make a valley fold. Just re reinforce that. Uh, why don't we just do those two steps and go ahead and, and continue to do that with with your other pieces. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first step is fold that up, unfold it, rotate, and then fold along the middle here. Everything should line up. This should line up, this should line up up here, and then that should be perfect like that. And then put that, unfold it and put it aside. So again, you're turning the model over. You make a little pinch along that fold there. I just kind of pinch one corner. Turn it over. And now you know you want to hold this, this flap in place. You see this triangle? 
you want to hold that down and then fold it. That's real important. So make sure that you hold that, that flap down. Okay. Unfold it, rotate, and then fold your long fold going across this way. And put that aside. So now, if you rotate the model so it, you're looking at it like this. So you have a fold that goes down this way. So now the point is facing down like this. This is the easiest way to do it. What we want to do is we want to make your valley fold here. And then we're going to make a mountain fold along this edge here. And what you're going to see is go ahead and watch this before you actually do it. This part comes over. And then this part comes back. This, actually, I misspoke. The mountain fold is going to be about halfway here. And so this line here is going to line up with this line here. So if you watch what happens, the first part is that this folds over. You've, you've got your valley fold. And then the top part comes back. Now you see this edge here? So you want to line that up with the rest of this here and then make your fold okay it should start at the corner there you shouldn't have to worry about anything happening back here because if this fold is in place you're not going to worry about that that fold goes in place and then you, you're pulling this back so that now you've got from the corner this edge lines up all the way down okay hopefully that is clear and fold the rest of your units. So we're going to go ahead and put this together. Now, before, before you do that, you want to make sure that your units, okay, you did this fold here, but make sure that the walls are, are up. So you want to go and just repinch that, repinch this edge here so it stands up because that's the edge of the box. So this is what it looks like from the top. That's what it looks like from the side. Okay, so try to re recrease that. Make sure that this is nice and flat here, okay? So really fun way to put this thing together. So when you look at your unit, do you see this little pocket here? There's a little flap here, okay? That's on the right side of the model. You see that the pocket is on the right side. On the left is just this tab here. This is really easy to put together. Find your pocket. Here's your tab. The tab slips right into the, that pocket. Do you see how that goes? And you just push it in until it stops. You'll have a little overlap, or not overlap, but you'll see a little space right here. So I'll repeat that. So find your pocket here, okay? So this is, this is the wall of the unit here, okay? Here's your pocket. The left is the tab. That whole thing slips underneath that, like the top of an envelope, right? And you're just slipping it all the way in until it stops. And it should stop right where it stops, which is right there. That, that section should be exactly that, that size. Okay, 
So then this is on top of the flap here. We're going to be, as we add to it from the right, it's just going to stack on top of it, each other, OK? So now take the next one, find your pocket, slip the tab in, push it in all the way. This is on top. This flap is on top. OK, keep rotating. It helps. I find it's helpful if you have it on the table like this. Okay. That way these flaps don't get all crazy and, and get loose. So again, find your pocket, slip the tab in and push it all the way inside till it stops. Okay. Back. Rotate. Now you see these are all starting to overlap down here on the bottom. Okay. Slip that in. Now, when you get to two, three, four, five, the sixth one, now it's going to start overlapping the first unit. Do you see this? So just let it sit on top. The next piece, you want to make sure that this is on top here on top of the whole pile. Here's your tab, here's your, your, uh, here's your pocket, your tab goes into the pocket. So now it's looking like this. And actually, that should be underneath. So, so this one, this tab, or this, this flat, slide it underneath. So it's like this now, okay? So do you see how that goes? So I'll repeat that after you put this, the sixth one in, it's on top right here, but you wanna go ahead and slip it underneath to the back. Like that. Let's continue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so the last one, go ahead and if you can take this long flap and then just slip it underneath the first unit here, but have it sit on top of the, the seventh unit here. So you see how I have it overlapped. It's sandwiched between this one and this first one. Now you can take the final tab and place it into the final pocket, push it together. And then you have your final one here Here's your tab in your pocket and slip it in. What you want to have happen is, well, there's a lock that's going to happen on the other side. So if you want to go ahead and put a little piece of tape right here at the joints, just make sure that they're flush up against each other. Then go ahead and do that because now what we're going to do Okay, we're going to turn the whole thing over carefully. It'll look like this. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think it is going to be helpful to do uh, put some tape on the corners. Just go ahead and put some tape along the inside there. And then the lock occurs. If you, you know, this, this star kind of sits up away from the model. If you push it down, you see these points? We're gonna do like what we do for the chaos cube, is we're gonna take that point and tuck it around and behind that flap there. So take the point, wrap it around, put it behind both of them. That'll make it nice and tight. Push it together to kind of center it. That's why it's oh. I think, a little key to put some tape in there to make sure that it doesn't slip out. If you look probably like mine, I didn't tape it, but you can see that there's some, a little bit of a shift going on. It's not quite at a corner like up here. So once you have those corners, you know, perfect, then the center should be pretty symmetrical. Like mine's not quite symmetrical for that reason. So, that, so that's the, the bottom of the uh, box. 
So I like this because it lays flat. Now, I wanna show you the unit to make the top. And like I was explaining briefly earlier, it's just um, changing the direction of one of the folds. So I like this because this is the bottom, this is gonna be flat, okay? So that's the bottom of, the, of your box. So we're gonna take the next eight and if you have them folded to this stage, great. What we're doing is we're going to reverse the direction of this last step here. We have this fold here, turn it over. We're going to bring this edge over and make a valley fold. We're just reversing the direction of that long fold that goes down the middle, but from here down. So make sure that you put that fold in place and then Turn the model so that you're facing this here, the inside. So you have that extra portion here. Pop the wall up. Give that a good crease. And then this fold, you've created it. Now it's a mountain fold, right? It goes this way. So you're going to bring that over and you want it to line up with this edge here. It's just the same thing that we did for the other step, but it's uh, going the other way. want to show you how to put this together and um, for this one you're not going to have to do any kind of a lock it's going to be fine so what you want to do is it's the same thing that we did for the other one you've got your you have your pocket here you have your tab here it's the same thing so you're just going to slip that into the pocket and everything's going to overlap here. You'll you'll notice that when you do this step, it just goes right in, and you're not going to. It's there's no no shifting around. It actually you don't have to worry about taping it. So we want to just go ahead and keep doing that. And then when you get to the end where it starts to overlap like this, you want to nudge it to the back. So just go ahead and lift up and have it go underneath that flap. I'll repeat that. So as you put the last few here, see it sits on top, just kind of pull this and nudge it to the back like that so that you have that. Let's see, do I have eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, okay. So I have eight. So here's the final one. You're tucking that into the pocket and it'll just slip, push it in all the way and it should lock nicely because there's some overlapping things that happen down here that will make it set just right. So that's what it looks like underneath. And that's what it looks like on top. You don't have to do any locking or anything. You may decide to put a little piece of tape here, but I noticed that this, this version stays pretty nice. And you see how it kind of comes up a little bit. So that should fit right over your base. Like that. That's what it looks like underneath. And that's what it looks like on top. And that is the octagonal box, my version.